Hey everyone, here we are again. I might actually start doing my uh, devotions in the morning more regularly. Uh, seems to be able to do that kind of at the end of the morning when I've got all the, the administrative stuff out the way and I've able to uh, been able to meditate on God's Word a little bit myself and my message for Sunday and have that in my head. Um, but uh, anyway, here we are. Uh, again, my name's Pastor Gordon Alman of Trinity Lutheran Church in Scarsdale, New York. You can find us at trinityscarsdale.org. This is my series, Sanctified with a Psalm. Today we're looking at Psalm 50, nice round number there, uh, and Hymn 536 from the Lutheran Service Book, Hymn 536 from the LSB. Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who went to the cross for us. That means he shed his blood he shed his blood for us, washing us clean in that same blood by those holy waters of our baptism, declaring us children of God to serve God and his Father. To him be all glory, honor, and dominion, having justified us and then again sanctifying us even today with his word as we meditate upon it, hear it, read it, just inwardly digest it. Psalm 50. The mighty one, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes. He does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire, around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds, for every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and its fullness are mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked God says, What right have you to recite my statutes, or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline, and you cast my words behind you. If you see a thief, you are pleased with him, and you keep company with adulterers. You give your mouth free rein for evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one like yourself, but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. Mark this then, you who forget God lest I tear you apart and there be none to deliver. The one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. So we respond with him 536. We'll skip stanza two, which is sung at a particular time of the year with a, with a particular context. So verses 1, 3, 4, and 5. One thing's needful, Lord, this treasure, teach me highly to regard. All else, though it first give pleasure, is a yoke that presses hard. 
Beneath it the heart is still fretting and striving, no true lasting happiness ever deriving. This one thing is needful, all others are vain. I count all but laws that I, Christ, may obtain. Wisdom's highest, noblest treasure, Jesus is revealed in you. Let me find in you my pleasure, and my wayward will subdue. Humility there and simplicity reigning, in paths of true wisdom my steps ever training. If I learn from Jesus this knowledge divine, the blessing of heavenly wisdom is mine. Nothing have I, Christ, to offer you alone, my highest good. Nothing have I, Lord, to proffer but your crimson-colored blood. Your death on the cross has death wholly defeated, and thereby my righteousness fully completed. Salvation's white raiments I there did obtain, and in them in glory with you I shall reign. Therefore you alone, my Saviour, shall be all in all to me. Search my heart and my behaviour, root out all hypocrisy. Through all my life's pilgrimage, God and uphold me in loving forgiveness, O Jesus, enfold me. This one thing is needful, all others are vain. I count all but loss that I, Christ, may obtain. And so we conclude with prayer in his name. Lord, I am a sinner. Please forgive me. Remind me that by your suffering and pain, your stripes, your very death, I am healed. Remind me that by your sacrifice, I possess salvation. Thank you that this grace alone saves. And Lord, sanctify me in this truth. Your word is truth. And as the truth sets me free, that means your very word sets me free. This is most certainly true. So let it be. And the Lord bless the rest of your day. And we hope to see you next time, this series Sanctified with a Psalm. Take care.